Let's multiply it by x. Well, what happens? x times x to the 0 becomes x to the 1. Uh, x times x to the 1 becomes x squared. x times x squared becomes x cubed. x times x cubed becomes x to the 4. Okay? So the effect is to lose the first term, which we could encode as 0, x to the zeros. There's none of them there. So multiplying by an x effectively introduces a 0 at the start. Okay? That's by multiplying by by an x. If we multiply by an x squared, okay, so x squared times this particular power series, okay, okay, if we multiply by x squared, well, x squared times x to the zero, you add the exponents, two plus zero gives us two, so that becomes an x squared. x squared times x to the one, two plus one gives us three, so that becomes an x cubed. x squared times x, x squared gives us an x to the four, and so on. Okay? The effect is we've lost the first two terms. So we've lost the x to the 0, and we've lost the x to the 1, which encodes the sequence 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and so on. Okay? So the effect of multiplying by an x squared is to introduce two zeros. Now, because we multiplied the power series by an x, we just multiplied the generating function by an x to give us the associated, the associated generating function. So I think now we're actually good to go. So let's consider example example A, which is the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Well, this particular sequence is just, you can see it's the even numbers. Okay? So the even numbers are effectively 2 times the natural numbers. Yeah? So we know the sequence of natural numbers. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, dot, dot, dot. We know it's power series. Okay? We know it's generating function, the generating function. We know it's power series. It's x to the 0 plus 2x to the 1 plus 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus 5x to the 4, dot, dot, dot. Okay? It's generating function. Let's say it's g of the naturals of x is 1 over 1 minus x. For the naturals, it's 1 over 1 minus x squared. Okay? Now what we want to do is we want to have the even, the even, the even, the even, uh, the even naturals. Well, the even naturals are just twice the naturals. So twice this okay, would give us two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay? Twice the power series would give us two x to the zero plus four x one plus six x two plus. 8x3 plus 10x4 plus dot, 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 which is encoding that particular sequence. You can see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So well, then why don't we just calculate what twice a g of x is, right? Which effectively gives us twice that gives us 2 over 1 minus x squared. The even naturals, okay, 2 over 1 minus x squared. So that's the first the four sequence. And let's have a look at the next sequence that we need to concentrate on. Okay, whoops, where is that? My page gone to here. It is here. So the next sequence, sequence B. Okay, let's just keep the natural stills and the, and, the, and the integers there for a moment. Okay. So let's look at sequence B. Sequence B, we said, was 0, 0, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Now, once again, you can see that we have the the, the even numbers here, we have the even natural numbers here, okay? So this is effectively what we have is we have the sequence encoded in there is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on, okay? Uh, which has which has a power series of 2x to the 0 plus 4x1 plus 6x2 plus 8x3 plus 10x to the 4, dot, dot, dot. And what we said earlier was if we want to if we want to introduce if we want to introduce a zero into our calculations, I think it's over here somewhere, is it? Okay. If we want to introduce a leading zero, okay, we multiply by x. If we want to introduce two leading zeros, we multiply by x squared. So we want to introduce three leading zeros. So what we should do is we should multiply this power series by x cubed. And let's see what happens. So we're going to have x cubed times this power series, 2x to the 0, plus 4x1, plus 6x squared, plus 8x cubed, plus 10x to the 4, dot, dot, dot. And once again, when you multiply, uh, when you multiply uh, terms where there's exponents, you basically add the exponents. So 3 plus 0. So x cubed times 2x to the 0 is the same as 2 
x to the 3 plus 0, which is 2x to the 3. So that becomes 2x to the 3. Right? x cubed times 4x to the 1 gives us 4. The 1 times the 4 gives us 4. x cubed times x to the 1 is the same as x to the 4. So that becomes 4x to the 4. Plus x cubed times 6x squared. Well, the coefficient is 1 times 6 gives us 6. x cubed times x squared x cubed times x squared is going to be x to the 5, okay? x to the 5, plus dot, dot, dot. Okay? So what we're missing is we're missing the terms before this. So we don't have any x squared term. We don't have any x1 term. And we don't have any uh, x to the 0 term. Okay? So, and you can see that this is encoding the sequence 0, 0, 0, 0 2, 4, 6, and so on, which is a effectively what we require. So if we multiply the generating function associated with the, with, the, with the even numbers, the even natural numbers by x cubed, we should end up with the generating function associated with this particular sequence. So we take the even naturals, let's say, uh, let's say the even naturals, uh, two times the naturals okay, of x, uh, the generating function for that is, we said it's two over, we did it in the last example, isn't that right? Okay. We did it's two over one minus minus x to be squared. So we're gonna multiply that by x cubed. So x cubed times g of double the naturals, okay, is going to be x cubed times this, it gives us two x cubed over one minus x, x squared. So effectively what we have generated here is the generating function, okay, uh, for the natural number, for the even natural number shifted across by two places. So this is what we have here, effectively this here is the required is the required generating function? And we're going bit, bit, pretty fast through these. And then let's have a look now. At what we also have, uh, so now what we have is, is part C. Okay, uh, the sequence that we're interested in is one, five, 